Villa hotshot Ollie Watkins gave the hosts the lead as the break approached, while Morgan Rogers netted just 32 seconds into the second half to double their advantage. In the space of just a few minutes though, the Bees were back on level terms. Firstly, Matthias Jorgensen reduced the deficit before Brian Ambumo's volley leveled the score. Yona Wissa put Brentford ahead shortly afterwards and it looked to have put Thomas Frank's side on course for three points. But Villa top scorer Watkins salvaged a point for Villa in the last 10 minutes to ensure the spoils were shared between the two sides. The point leaves Villa three ahead of fifth place Tottenham Hotspur. Though the North London side have two games in hand on Unai Emery's outfit and will move above them should they beat Nottingham Forest tomorrow afternoon. For the Bees, they slightly opened the gap between themselves and the relegation zone. They are now four points ahead of Forest and Luton Town, with the Hatters in the bottom three on goal difference, and all three sides which were promoted last season the ones occupying the relegation places. Despite picking up a point on the road and having come from two goals down, the Bees could have won and added further daylight between themselves and the bottom three. And it was clear that tensions were running high at full time between two members of the Brentford squad, who appeared to disagree with their game management tactics. Collins and Tony were spotted following the conclusion of the Villa Park encounter having a rather heated argument and raising their hands as they gesticulated about what should have happened. Though it is not totally clear about what was said, one social media user had a theory over the disagreement based upon lip reading. It has been suggested that Tony believes Collins ought to have gone long in a bid to win the game, but instead decided to play things safe. It remains to be seen what categorically called the fallout.